In this video, I'm gonna show you the best three ways on how to build muscle with kettlebells. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts for free. Check the first link in the description. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Leberstark here. You can seriously build muscle with kettlebells. However, you'll never look like a bodybuilder. That's something that you have to understand before you jump into kettlebell training. Kettlebell training can be defined as concurrent training. For muscle development, this might be a tricky situation. So if we wanna build serious muscle and we wanna gear our body towards an anabolic parameter, then there's a couple of things that we want to adjust. Usually kettlebell training is 70% aerobic and 30% anaerobic. So if we wanna build muscle, we want to switch these numbers a little bit. The first way to build muscle with kettlebells is to focus on so-called grinding lifts. Ballistic exercises, like for example a swing, is something that is useful for building power and strength endurance. But since we want to focus on building muscle, that's something that we want to toe down a little bit. So grinding lifts are exercises where we decrease or eliminate Momentum. One of the most beneficial grinding lifts, for example, is the press. Let me demonstrate this exercise real quick. As you can see, I'm going fairly slow because I only want the muscles from my upper body to engage in this exercise. With a slow and controlled grinding lift like the press, we trigger the most important muscle fibers responsible for muscle growth and this lean aesthetic look. For reference, just see what it looks like if I would use a push press where I use momentum. Now, as you can see with the aid of my legs, I can go faster and of course do more reps. But with an exercise and a training philosophy like this where I use explosive movements, I am not creating the most conducive situation for muscle building. Another exercise that I can use to build more muscle in my legs, for example, is a goblet squat, where again, I'm not using any momentum and no rest at all. So essentially, you want to use exercises that are still unique to the kettlebell and that decrease or eliminate momentum. Now here comes number two of the best ways to build muscle with kettlebells. Now we already understand that we want to use the so-called grinding lifts and reduce or eliminate momentum. Now something that I want to add to it is the so-called yielding or the eccentric phase of training. Science shows that yielding or eccentric training was shown to be most effective in building muscle. Now what is an eccentric lift or a so-called yielding lift? If we take the press again as the example, the first thing that we do when we move weights is a so-called concentric or an overcoming phase. The overcoming phase is this. I have to overcome the weight and bring it in the, into the position that I want it to be. Now in phase number two, I want to bring the weight back down into its original position. So here I am yielding or I'm engaging the so-called eccentric phase of the lift. So I can either drop it fast, but like we know now, this is not the most conducive way of building muscle. So instead, I want to know and engage into what science says about the yielding phase being the most productive in building muscle, and that is slowing down the exercise as I come down. And maybe now you see that if we are just using ballistic exercises, like the snatch, for example, or the swing, or the jerk, the yielding phase, or the eccentric phase, is missing. And because it is missing, we are not tapping into the full potential of building lean muscle tissue. Now here comes number three of the three best ways to build muscle. If you have the space and the funds to add some more exercise equipment to your home gym, use a barbell. A barbell 
is one of the greatest tools to build muscle per se. And I think a barbell bench press, the exercise where you lay on a bench and then you press the weight up and bring it back down, is one of the best additions to kettlebell training. Because honestly speaking, the kettlebell does not target your chest as well as a barbell does. We also want to maybe incorporate body weight exercises like a pull-up. So for this, you probably need a pull-up bar. And if we combine the barbell, the pull-up bar with the kettlebell, we have a powerful mixture and a super combination to build muscle. If you're interested in a particular workout of these three training modalities, then check out the video right here. I did recently a workout that I showed on the channel and it's something that you can use if you're already equipped with a kettlebell, a bench press, and a pull-up bar. Pro tip at the end, make sure your protein intake is high and that you don't engage into a caloric deficit that is too deep below your regular maintenance threshold. Like I mentioned in the beginning, kettlebell training is so-called concurrent training. And if you are in a caloric deficit, it can help you boost fat loss most definitely, but it can also maybe eat up your muscles to a certain extent. So always make sure if you engage into kettlebell training that your protein intake is settled. So here's the next step that you have to do. Like the video, consider subscribing, share this video with a friend, and then check out our course that is called 90 Gains of Kettlebells. Here's a free trial that you can check out. If you're looking for a kettlebell only program that can help you build muscle, I got it right here. So check it out right now.